I feel like street art is super friendly. It's super down to earth. I love art and I share a lot about art. I guess that's why people feel like, okay, this girl, she loves art, so she must be studying art. But actually, I study advertising and branding. I love to create stuff. I like to make jewelry by myself. I don't think there's like, an, like a necessary link between what you love and what you're studying. I like the nature of street art because it keeps changing. You can touch it, you can just um, lean on the wall, take a photo. And this is so much better because you feel more close with it. And when, you're, when you feel something is super close, super grasswood, people just love it. So today we got Luke Chamon, the gallery director of Avenue Dessert, to talk more about um, some great street art here in Hong Kong. So we're here in Sai Ying Pun, it's a building of Tong Lao and the rooftop here. Rooftop art is amazing. It's actually my first time seeing such a big rooftop art. And I feel like this is more like a Hong Kong stuff because people try to get to like different rooftop of their yeah. old buildings and then it's super great to like spice up the rooftop. <laughs> yeah, with the, the piece with Mac on there, he, he's using like a really iconic Mickey. Uh, Mickey, but you know, like it doesn't look like Mickey yeah. too much anymore. It's deconstructed, there's a lot of detail, yeah. the concept's really cool. My bag is so hard to finish this work. I really like um, the part of the eye because yeah. I can feel the soul. Oh wow, yeah. Is that right? It's good that you notice that because like this is one of the things that I recognize in all of Hopeir's mm. work. He manages to capture the soul. Yeah, exactly. We're like a big city, all about financial, commercial stuff. But we got street art. We got so many great street art. I think Hong Kong is like a box of wonders. You have to unwrap it to see what's inside the box.